brain-related accidents can happen to anyone and to anything. Cars, trains, and sometimes even planes. But mainly, it's just pilot error in that case. But have you ever wondered, could two issues cause a fatal crash? Because that's exactly what happened in Sao Paulo in 2007. This is the story of the disaster at Congonias, otherwise known as TAM Airlines Flight 3054. On July 17, 2007, TAM Airlines Flight 3054 was operating from Puerto Aldri to Sao Paulo's Congonias Airport. The plane operating this route was an Airbus A320-233, registered as PR-MPK. At 5.19 p.m. Brazilian time, Flight 3054 departs Salgado Filho Airport, bound for Congonias, with 181 passengers and 6 crew members. However, this would be the last time that the crew and its passengers would ever reach Congonias. As Flight 3054 began its descent to Sao Paulo, the two captains on board later identified as Enrique Stefanini de Sacco, age 53, and Kleber Alighier of Lima, age 54, were thinking about doing a different descent than usual on their current A320. This is because at Sao Paulo, the A320s would usually land on runway 17 left. It's a safer runway to land on and poses less risk for crashing. However, due to issues with rain, they had to land on 35 left, and it caused major problems. As their procedures for approach began, the pilots on this flight decided to do a different kind of approach. They were recently trained to re-land the A320 in a different style, especially at Sao Paulo, considering that Congonias Airport's runway 35 left recently got repaved. However, they decided to go for a different approach, and an older procedure. But this procedure turned out to be wrong. At 6.20 p.m. Brasilia time, Flight 3054 begins its approach in the Congonias Airport. There's a problem though, because the thrust reverser on Engine 2 is malfunctioning and it's jammed, leaving only one thrust reverser. However, it can land like that. And around 6.48 Brasilia time, Flight 3054 lands at Congonias Airport. Compared to other jets that came before it, it is moving rather fast, and the captain immediately activates the thrust reverser on Engine 1. However, due to the rain, it may take longer to slow down the plane, but this time, the plane does not slow down, even with the working thrust reverser, and it continues to roll down the runway. The captains desperately try to stop the plane, however, it does not work. The A320 drastically veers to the left. The pilots try to regain control of the aircraft, but by that point, it was already too late. At around 6.49 p.m. Brasilia time, TAM Airlines Flight 3054 crashes into a TAM Express warehouse and Shell gas station approximately 550 meters from the runway. The aircraft stops with an impact of about negative 37 Gs. Most of the aircraft is unrecognizable, but the parts that are recognizable are beginning to burn. 199 people are dead. These include all 187 occupants on the aircraft, as well as 12 people on the ground. They were killed when the Shell gas station exploded once the aircraft jet fuel ignited. 13 people are also injured. These include people in the cars driving on the road next to Congonias Airport, as well as a few other occupants inside the Shell gas station. But this begs an important question. What caused this A320 to overrun one of the most infamous runways in the world on a rainy night in Sao Paulo, Brazil? An investigation launched by the Brazilian Air Force's Aeronautical Accidents Investigation and Prevention Center concluded that multiple causes caused the wreck. The most easily recognizable and the most probable cause was, of course, faulty thrust reverser on engine number 2. The thrust reverser had been jammed on that flight. It was due to a maintenance issue before the flight even began, and it would cause issues on landing with certain runways. And since 35 left was a dangerous runway, it was a recipe for disaster. The thrust reversers were not the primary cause of the accident though. Another issue was the pilots themselves. The pilots, they had been trained to land the A320 in a different procedure, for slick runways. However, Captain DeSacco decided to use a different procedure, an older kind of procedure, usually used on the A320-100s, but rarely used on the A320-200. It required putting one engine into thrust reversing, and to put another engine in idle. However, it was later found that engine number 2 was not even at idle, it was still running at full throttle. This also explains why the plane veered left rapidly 
and crashed into the Tam Express warehouse. There was also another lead in the accident with the recovery of surveillance switch that was scattered all around the airport. Looking at this switch, you can see a regular Tam Airlines A320 landing at Gungonius. It is moving slowly and probably using all of its thrust reversers. This is usually a normal procedure for an Airbus A320 at Tam, but this is flight 3054. As you can see, it is moving extremely fast and quick. Noticing on other footage, you'll see the other TAM A320 coming in. It is moving rather slow and steady, and is using proper thrust reversing procedures for slick runways. However, if you wait a little bit, you'll see TAM 3054 speeding down the runway. This is an obvious indication that there is an issue in the cockpit and with the thrust reversers. Gongonius Airport itself though, it wasn't even safe for landings on runway 35 left. The paving of the runway made it extremely dangerous and very likely for an incident to occur. Just a day prior, an ATR-42 experienced a runway excursion after trying to land on runway 35 left. It didn't do much damage, but it proved that the runway was dangerous, especially to bigger aircraft, and that fear would turn into a reality only a day later. In 2009, the final report of the accident was published. It blamed the pilot's inability to land the airplane on a sleek runway without proper procedures and with a non-working thrust reverser. It also blamed Congonius Airport for not allowing the airport to close its runway due to it being paved and it would cause risks for accidents. This accident caused many changes to the A320. Airbus refined its procedure for landing and it no longer uses that older procedure like the one used on the A320-100. It also led to stricter maintenance on the Airbus's engines, especially on the thrust reversers, which were one of the primary causes of this accident. Congonius Airport was under heavy fire after the accident. Nowadays, not many planes fly out of Congonius as they fly out of the bigger international airport and possibly a future third airport that we may see in our lifetimes. And in 2015, TAM Airlines and Lan Chile merged with each other to form La TAM Airlines Group, which still operate the Porto Alegre to Sao Paulo route to this day on the Brazilian branch, formerly TAM Airlines, using an A320-200. On the 5th anniversary of the accident, the crash site was turned into a permanent memorial to remember all 199 people lost on that day, as well as 199 trees planted outside the Porto Aldres Airport to remember the lives lost on July 17, 2007. It has been 14 years since the disaster at Congonias, but we can only pray that another accident like this can never happen again. Yeah.